Today we will be using MATDEC3 for basic chemistry. We will be using features such as MATDEC's advanced periodic table, automatically balancing chemical equations, and a simple to use chemistry GUI for gathering information. To open an already saved MATDEC document, click the open icon and double click on the document. Now that I have opened the file, I can change this text into a heading and from there I can also change the type, font and size of the text. I can make it italics but not bold. I'm also going to insert a canvas for the example and enlarge it a bit. The example is balance the Haber process in which N2 plus H2 turns into ammonia. The first thing I'm going to do to balance this chemical equation is to write it as a variable in the canvas. I'm going to be using Ctrl B for the subscript and for the plus sign, it is a normal plus sign. From there, the most important part is to use Ctrl equals to generate the equal sign and then we can finish the right hand side. The Haber process is relatively easy to balance as there are two nitrogens on the left hand side and only one on the right hand side. So we'll need to double the nitrogens on the right hand side causing the hydrogens to double from 3 to 6. However, we only have two hydrogens on the left hand side so we will need to triple it for it to be balanced. So in the end we get the same amount of nitrogens which is N2 but we get three amounts of hydrogens so six in total which is equal to two molecules of ammonia. Now that we have balanced it we will need to get the chemical reaction arrow which is done by right clicking the equal sign. However, the Haber process is a reversible reaction, so we need to double click it again to get a reversible chemical equation. While this is relatively easy to do, there are easier ways to do it in MATDEC, such as it automatically balancing itself. To do that, you will need to write out the equation as you already have, and all you need to do now is right click on the equal sign, and it will automatically balance itself. Instead of needing to do any maths or calculation, MATDEC will do it. Now that we have successfully balanced the equation, I'm going to work on the presentation of the question. So I'm going to make this the reversible sign, and I'm also going to insert a frame for our answer, as well as a text box explaining the process. Now that I have added the frame and text box, I can add any text to the text box and I'm going to make it bold. I'm also going to enlarge it so that it fits nicer and I'm going to move it up a bit. I'm also going to send the text box to the back and also make it smaller so that it can fit over our equation. And there. I'm also going to finally make the canvas smaller now that we have finished with the first example, we can move on to the second example, which is find the hydrogen percent composition of 6 moles of water. As per normal, I'm going to insert a canvas for our working and enlarge it slightly. Now that we have the canvas, we can insert the formula for percent composition. Formulas are found in the insert ribbon on the right hand side, where are formulas for chemistry, digital, signal processing and FFT we will be using chemistry. I'm going to preview the formula, make sure that is the one, then I can add it into the canvas. Now we can work on finding the number of element moles, compound moles, the molar mass of the element and the molar mass of the compound so we can finish the example. Now we know the number of compound moles is 6 and from the number of element moles for every two hydrogens there is one oxygen so in that ratio there are four moles of hydrogen for every six moles of water and now we can see the number of moles of the element in one mole of the compound is 0.66 now if we have the number of element moles and the number of compound moles we will need the molar mass of the element as well as the molar mass of the compound the molar mass of hydrogen is equal to the atomic weight of hydrogen so we will be using the periodic table which is found in the toolbox ribbon to get the atomic weight of hydrogen. The periodic table should already be in the toolbox buttons. However, if it is not, you need to click manage buttons 
tick the periodic table toolbox tick box and click OK and the periodic table button will appear here. You'll need to double click where you want your variables to appear before opening the periodic table. Now that we have the periodic table open, we can insert the atomic weight of hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen is already selected so I can add, remove and rename variables to whatever I want. Now that I've finished renaming variables, there are also additional ones that can be added but I do not need them now. I'm going to click insert variable and the variables have been inserted. Now I'm going to move on to oxygen. The same variable is already pre-selected so I'm just going to change their names to signify that this is for oxygen and then I'm going to click insert as well and the variables will be inserted. As you can see hydrogen's atomic weight has been inserted as well as its name and symbol and the same goes for oxygen's atomic weight, name and symbol. Now that we have the atomic weight of hydrogen and oxygen, we can input the molar mass of element, which in this case is 1.008. Now the molar mass of the compound is 2H weight plus O weight, which I'm going to write as a variable so we can keep our degree of accuracy. So I'm going to do 2 times by H weight, add O weight, which is equal to 18.015 which I'm going to put as the molar mass of the compound. Now that we have the molar mass of the compound we can find the percent composition and the percent composition of hydrogen in 6 moles of water is 3.730%. Now that we have the answer we can work on the presentation of our working out. So I'm going to put all major working out to the side and the answer in the middle. I'm also going to make the answer larger so it can be visible. Now finally I'm going to add a comment into the canvas and make the canvas smaller. I'm going to change the thickness of the border to 3 pixels and I'm also going to change the background colour to white. I also want to change the border colour to a nice different blue and then finally I'm going to insert any text I'm going to make this text slightly bigger into a size 10 and then I'm going to change the size of the comment as well as move it a bit then now we can move on to our final example the final example is sulfuric acid reacts with potassium hydroxide to form potassium sulfate and water find the balanced equation for this reaction since I do not know the molecular formula for sulfuric acid, I'm going to need MATDEC's easy to use chemistry GUI for gathering chemical information. It is found under chemistry forms and from there you click this icon and select the place where you want the GUI to be inserted. You can change the variable names as well as the variable name of the GUI itself. From there it will be inserted into an area where it has space which may be a new page. Now that we have opened the GUI we can use it to get the molecular formula of sulfuric acid. Now we have the molecular formula you will type it in the canvas as a variable so H2O4S and now we need to find the molecular formula of potassium hydroxide to add it to our chemical equation. Just like sulfuric acid, I'll get the molecular formula of potassium hydroxide by typing it in to this chemical GUI. And now we can type it into this chemical equation. So it is just HKO. And now, as we are going on to the reactants, we will need to use control equal sign to generate the now that we move on to the reactants, we'll need the molecular formula for potassium sulfate. Similar to sulfuric acid and potassium hydroxide, I'll use this GUI to find it. Now that we have the molecular formula, we can enter it. K2, using Ctrl B for the subscript, O4, and just one S. And then we need to use the plus sign for the other reactant, which is water and we know water as H2O. 
Now that we have all the reactants on the left hand side and the products on the right hand side, I'm going to right click the equal sign for it to automatically balance the equation. As you can see, it is now balanced. From there, we can work on the presentation of our document. The first thing I'm going to change about the presentation is the font and size of our answer. I'm going to make it size 18 and I'm also going to change the font to band shrift semi bold. From there, I'm also going to insert a frame for our answer, but I'm only going to be using the bottom part of it. Then I also need to send it to the back and enlarge it. Now that we have the frame in place, I'm going to insert a text box. While there are text boxes with all variables for any important information, I believe a normal text box will do better as I can put it directly underneath. Now with our text in the text box, we can resize the text box and the canvas and we will be done. I'm going to put this in the middle and resize the canvas. Please note that automatically balancing equation, templates, the advanced periodic table and this chemistry GUI are all available in Matt Deck 3 and that is what we have been working with today.